G'day, welcome to 12 Volt Shed. Today I'm doing a product review on the Oscharge battery charger series. We're here on Morton Island. Uh, I haven't been using one of these chargers on the island because it's a 240 volt charger, but this charger and I go back a fairly long way. I've been around battery chargers for quite a while. I've played with a lot of different types. I've been involved with charger companies, charger manufacturers, with some of the big distributors of brands like SeaTech and, and others. Uh, and I've got to tell you that I personally rate this range of chargers. Firstly, the hat. Um, I was a, a ranger in my younger days, so I do burn easily, but I think it's appropriate that every full drive or recreational presenter in the known given universe wears a hat. So I sort of thought, well, I better get a hat. So uh, this is the hat. You might see it featured every now and then to stop the skid lid getting burnt. But here we go. So, sorry, I, I digress. Back to the charger. So this range of chargers uh, comes in a really good range from 6 and 12 volt right down to little 1 amp right the way through to a 25 amp. Uh, they used to do a 30 amp for caravan, but they no longer do that. It suffered a little bit with vibration and, um, and they've stepped it back to this 25 amp, uh, to the 25 amp in this series, I should say. The 25 amp can have a remote display so that you can use it in caravans or camper trailers. Today, I've got the 12 amp. I find this a very versatile size for, for a home type person. Uh, one of the great features of this charger is it can be dialed back. So you can tell a 12 amp to be an 8 amp or a 1 amp just by selecting the different types. It is a nine stage charger. So on the back of the box, and I will put up a graphic here for you, uh, you can see the nine stages of charge. So qualification stage, basically the charger has a look at the battery, has a bit of a works out where it is and what it needs to be. If it's too low, and I think it's below eight volts or nine volts, whatever that may be, uh, it goes into a rejuvenization mode. So that rejuvenization mode puts a, a patented, a little patented here, high voltage, high frequency voltage and amperage pulse. It, it kind of is trying to create pathways through that sulfated plate so that it can get the chemical reaction happening. That process, by the way, in my own playing around with this, can take between 24 and 48 hours. It can take a hell of a long time, but I've got to tell you, I've been able to get quite a lot of batteries back with this patented rejuvenization method. So it really does work, work, and it is worth a try. From here, it goes into a soft start. So once that rejuve process is done, uh, we go into bulk stage, but we have to soft start that. Then we go into bulk. Um, after, then we go into, sorry, absorption mode after that. And then periodically, X amount of charge cycles, it'll do an equalization charge where it pushes the voltage quite high and uh, equalizes the cells. Then it allows the battery to stop and it watches the voltage. If that voltage shrinks too quickly, in other words, if it collapses from its heightened stage of charge to, to a resting voltage too rapidly, it will go back to the very first stage and start again. If that's happy, it'll now move into float charge and then into maintenance charge. So after a certain number of days, so that we don't keep using energy and, and if we keep applying charge to a battery you can actually create sulfate on the plates so a lot of these power supplies that just keep pushing voltage at a, at a battery will actually grow sulfate on a battery or, or at least that's what i'm led to believe by the experts after a certain number of days it'll stop charging and then apply a micro pulse that's a little blip little blip every now and then just to counteract for self-discharge of a battery. So there you have it, nine stages of charge. Uh, 12 volt chargers, they do have a range of 24 volt. The other great thing I like is it's got multi-selectable chemistry. So you've got calcium, AGM wet or gel. Once you set that, you never have to worry again. So the first time you, you got a, a, if you're only using it for your vehicle battery, you obviously your, uh, your calcium, select that and it will remember that and then apply those stages of charge. Really worth every now and then, and, and on a four-wheel drive like this, uh, or even in my home cars, about every three months, 
I like to give my car batteries a little top up. Vehicle alternator never ever fully charges a battery, so by having a small domestic charger like this that I can clip on and just give them a, a top up every now and then, they'll really appreciate that and you'll get a lot longer life out of your battery. You'll notice the next morning how quickly it'll come off the key. These clamps are protected. Uh, you've got a quick disconnect, so if you forget and leave the clamps connected and drive off, it will disconnect and it won't drag your uh, charger down the driveway like it used to with the old with the old Alex of, of days gone past. So there you have it. It's got a very, very high efficiency in the power supply in it, and it's got an eco mode that it goes into after X amount of days, and when it's in standby, it uses a very, very low power draw. Very versatile, available through all of your major battery shops Australia-wide. I know that Battery World have this in stores uh, nationwide and your independent battery shops. Great product and I'm very, very happy to endorse it. I do represent this product through my company, MyRep, but having used many charges myself over the years, I really rate it. Thanks for watching.